What's up YouTube, Mike Dakota here. Today we're gonna go over the next coding interview pattern and that's fast and slow pattern. So at the previous two previous two videos, we talked about the sliding window approach and the two pointer approach. So now today we're gonna just talk about fast and slow pointers. So what this means is that you're, what we're doing is that one pointer is gonna move at different speeds and the other pointer, they're gonna eventually meet eventually. So that what means is that one pointer is gonna go super fast and the other one's gonna go slow. And in the end, where they're gonna meet sooner or later, they're gonna meet, okay? So uh, what is a good example of this? The first one is linked list cycle. So given a linked list, determine if it has a cycle in it. So a linked list is like this, where each of the node represents a number and it's pointing to another node that has another number, okay? So basically they're, all the elements are like circles and they have a certain number inside of it. So let's say we have an input head equals uh, three, two, zero, negative four, and the position is one. The linked list just represents like this, three, two, zero, negative four. Okay, and our problem is that given a linked list, we have to determine if it has a cycle. So what that means is that uh, if there's a, a loop inside, right? So if we have three, two, zero, four, negative four, are there loops in these pointers that we're connecting towards each other? So in this case, there is a loop because the two goes to zero and the zero goes to negative four and the negative four goes back to two. So in, in this case, we have a loop because there's a cycle here, okay? So yeah, this output is true. And um, they want to give us a linked list, right? And they give us a position and the position represents a position of linked list where the tail connects to. So um, yeah, so there is the tail connects to the second node here in this case. So this negative four points back to two. And in this scenario, um, we use a position representing zero index where the last node of negative four here, negative four, connects back to position one. And position one, if we represent these nodes by zero base, we have three, it would be zero, one, two, three, right? If I just start counting from zero, I would have zero, one, two, three, if I'm counting from zero. And since they say position one, zero, one, this second position is a two. And um, the negative four, since they said the position represents the position where the tail connects back to, negative four points back to position one, which is zero, one, which is two. So negative four connects back to two. So if there's a cycle in the linked list, the tail connects to the second node. Okay, so yeah. And then here, there's an, another example. We have one, two, and the position is zero. So in this case, the two connects back to position zero, so zero, one. And then this two connects back to zero, so it's uh, back to position one. So there's a cycle in this linked list because the two goes back to one, so that's a cycle, okay? And then here, um, position is negative one, and ahead is one, uh, and it outputs false because there's no cycle in the linked list, okay? So how do you do this problem? Essentially is, is that uh, imagine there we have a turtle racetrack and then one is gonna go way slower behind the other one. So we have two pointers. One is gonna be the slow pointer. The next one's gonna be the fast pointer called the hare. So if, they long, if the linked list does not have a cycle in it, the hare is gonna reach back to the, the linked list where the slow pointer, the turtle is, is where it's at. So that means that there is no cycle in the linked list and the turtle will never catch up to the hare. So the slow pointer will never catch up to the fast pointer if there is a no cycle in the linked list, okay? So if at any stage the turtle's slow pointer meet the hare fast pointer, we can say that there's a cycle, okay? So in this case, we could look in this picture example. So we have this one and then the two, and then the hare is going twice as fast as the turtle. And then sooner or later, once we go back towards the end, um, they're gonna meet, right? And when they meet, that means that, well, yeah, if they meet, that means that the um, slow pointer reaches the fast pointer and that means they're at the same scenario, okay? So that's what this means, okay? So this is like how you do it in Python, okay? And um, yeah, now let's go over another pro problem, which is like, given a linked list, return the node where the cycle begins. Uh, if there is no cycle, return null. So in this case, we have zero, two, zero, negative four, and position is one. The tail connects back to position one. So we have zero, one, two, three. Negative four connects back to zero, one, which is the position of one, which is two. So negative four connects to two. Okay. So now given a link, let's return the node where the cycle begins. So 
we have to return the position of two. So yeah, we use integer rep position representing the link list with account tail connects to. Okay. And here, um, so yeah, here in this case, the node connects back to index one. So the tail connects back to index one. So the output would be uh, one here. Okay, and now here we have the second example. We have one, two, and then the position of two connects back to position one, right? Because the starting position is zero. So we have zero, one, and this two connects back to one, right? Because they stated that the position is the position was where the last node connects back to the first node. So we have zero, one, so two connects back to position zero, which is one in this case. So there's a loop here. And there's a cycle in this link list. Okay, uh, and then here we have one and then positions negative one. So the last node does not connect to anything and there's no cycle. Okay, so how do you solve this problem? Um, it's not very difficult. So here, uh, we're just gonna have the slow pointer pointing from fast. Uh, fast is gonna start at, so we have two of these, essentially we have two of this, um, two of the, pointers are going to point to the starting node and then one is going to go twice as fast as the other. So while, while the first node is not null and the second one and the fast next is not null. So what this means is that the first, uh, they didn't go to the end yet. So that while the fast pointer is not reached the end and the next pointer of the fast pointer is not an end, the fast one is going to go twice as fast and the slow one just goes to the next one. So the fast one is going to go next to next. So it goes twice as fast and the slow goes to the next one. If the slow reaches the fast, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna set the current is equal to the head, right? And then if the current is not not, is not the slow one, then we're just, this is just a scenario you set, just set the current to the next one and then the slow is gonna equal to the next pointer. And then in the end, we just return slow. So essentially is that uh, th this, this while loop is just in case if we reach a scenario where um, we have to go to the next node of the slow is the next node, right? When the current is not slow. Essentially, is they're saying that um, we need to, we just have to like update it at that point. Um, so yeah, and then we return slow. And in the end, we uh, if none of this occurred, we just return none. So yeah, so the only difference between the two problems is that um, this part, if the current, if the, we reached if the slow pointer is equal to the fast pointer, we're going to meet at the same location, right? And if that's the case, the current is not slow. While the current is not slow, we just go to the next current and then slow is equal to the next one that returns slow. So this is how it works. This is the diagram. So here, um, yeah, so we start from here at the head and then we go to the next pointer and then the hair, the fast pointer, is going to go twice as fast. So this one would jump to here, right? So the bunny, the hair, the fast pointer is going to jump to this, the second one. And the turtle starts with the head. When the turtle goes to the next one, the fast pointer is going to jump twice. So we have one, two, and it jumps back to here, right? So that means that there's a cycle here, right? So here it's here, and then, yeah, it jumps back to here. So yeah, when the hair and turtle, we meet at negative four, the length they have run is uh, A plus 2B plus C for the hair and a plus b. So this is just like the distance it traveled. Since the fast pointer is two times faster than the slow pointer, we get a is equal to c. Yeah, so this is just like the math math logic behind it. Um, if the distance you traveled is twice as fast, in the end, you're gonna reach the same location, right? So when another pointer current runs from head to the two distance at the same time, previous pointer will run from negative four to two distance. So they begin at the two distance together, so that means that that's the point where the cycle begins. So essentially is that if you travel twice the distance and you add up all your distances and divide by two, um, you're gonna get like the location where you're gonna meet, meet up, okay? That's what this part is, okay? When you reach a cycle. So yeah, um, that's just like the a basic intro problem about slow and fast pointers. And then now let's actually just go over some more problems. So if, if you wanna get into the gist of this, Essentially is that uh, one point is going to move twice as fast as the other one. And then sooner or later, if you, when, when we reach like the same location in like in this example, um, yeah. And when we reach the same location, that means that there's going to be a cycle. So yeah, 
through the link list. We have two pointers, one's going twice as fast and the other one's going slower. So once you meet the same location and they're the same, just return true. And that means you're, you have a cycle. So let's go over some more problems. All right, guys, we're gonna go over some problems and then we'll be on our way. So a happy number is an algorithm. Basically it's uh, you have any integer and then you replace the number by adding up the sums of all the digits. And then you repeat this process until the number equals to one or it loops endlessly in a cycle. So if it ends in one, then it's a happy number. Otherwise it's a false. So here's what the example, what it looks like. So we have one squared. So we have n is equal to 19. And then we're going to just going to sum up the square of all the digits. So we have one square plus nine square, right? Cause the one and nine are the digits here. And then that equals 82. And we just repeat this process, eight square plus two square, right? Because it's the digits eight and then the two, right? Eight square plus two square. And then we get 68, and then we do the same process, six square plus eight square, get 100. And then 100, we're just gonna square the digits again. So one square plus zero square plus zero square will give you one. So in the end, uh, this ends up equaling to one. And they said, if it equals to one, we're gonna return true and false if it's not, okay? So in the first one, it would have returned true, right? Output is true because the end became one. In the second example, n is equal to two. And it, no matter how many times you square the digits and ask, sum them up, you're still going to get false. You're not going to get one. So yeah, uh, this is the question. And let's just go over the solution. So the solution is, um, is actually to use uh, two pointers. So there's a way to do it with two pointers. We're just going to go to um right here so actually let's let's just go to the discussion tab so there's there's a way to do this with two pointers um yeah use this one okay so here this is in java but we could do the same thing in c plus plus but um so yeah here um so we have this function called sqr and it's just going to sum up the squares of all the digits of the number. So we have SQR is just going to square all the digits of the number. So given the number N, it's just going to uh, square all the digits. So basically it's saying while N is not equal to zero, we're just going to get each of the digit and we're just going to add up the square of all the digits, right? So the REM squared plus equal to sum. And then we divide N by 10 to get the next digit. So then in the end, this is just going to return the sum of all the digits here, the sum of the square of all the digits here. So that's what this is doing. So how to use two pointer here is that we're going to have a slow pointer is going to um, essentially equal to n and the fast is going to equal to n also. And then while they're both not equal to, well, the fast is not equal to one and the square of the digits of the fast is not equal to one. We're just going to um, square all the digits of slow first. And then we're going to do the same thing for fast, but for fast, we're going to do it twice. So we're going to square all the digits and then we square all the digits again and sum them all up. So square all the digits, sum them up and fast is going to do it twice as fast. So fast is going to do square all the digits, sum them up. Okay. So if the fast is equal to slow, so what that means is that if in the end, um, if we end up getting like the same digit, no matter what, so let's say we were at like two and then we square it all the sum of the digits, we get like four, right? And then uh, four square would be, square all the sums of 16, right? So if, and then fast square, yeah, so that would be fast square. And then slow square would be uh, two square, four, four square, 16 also, yeah. So if fast is equal to slow, it's gonna return false because no matter what happens, um, they're, 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 they're not gonna equal to one, right? Either of them will not equal to one. Right. So like if, if we repeat this process, right, if we repeat this process of happy number, um, and we do it like multiple times and it's both is equal to the same number. So here we have N is equal to two, right? So if we repeated the process twice as much and then sum all the digits and we do it again, and if they're the same number, no matter what happens, it means that it can never equal to one, right? Because um, 
because when fast if if either fast is equal to one or the square of the fat a square of the sum of all the digits is equal to one this while loop would break out of it right but if they end up equaling each other that means no matter what happens they're they're not going to equal to one right so then if that's the case we just return false otherwise we return true so this is like using two pointers in that um, we're just uh, computing a value function of summing all the digits twice as fast and we realize that hey if we end up actually ha having the same number in the end it means it's not possible because it's just going to continue going going on and on and on so yeah so that's how you do happy number using the two-pointer approach so let's go over the next problem. Okay, the next problem is going to be the middle of the linked list. So given the head, we just have to return the middle of the linked list. So let's say we have list linked list 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The middle of it, which is the exact middle here, is going to be 3. And we want to return 3, right? So, yeah. Um, and then it just returns, like, the... Yeah, it just returns the rest of the, the nodes, I believe. Yeah, so it will return 3, and then it would be the rest of the nodes here. Now, if it's like an even number, right, an even number, and we try to get the even number, if we would try to get the middle of the linked list, I think it just does the, the rightmost one, I believe. If there are two middle nodes, return the second node, yeah. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we just like uh, cross out both sides here, um, the middle would be either three or four. And then they said just return the second node, so that would be four and then it returns four, five, and six, because that's the middle node and all the values after it, right? They didn't want us to return the middle node and all the values after it, okay? So uh, how do you do this problem? Uh, we could do it with two-pointer approach. So um, let's just go through a simple two-pointer approach. Um, I think it's, oh, okay, so this is like a C-sharp value. Um, oh, not this one. Uh, two-pointer should be, Something like this. Okay, so okay, so this is how you do it. Okay, um, oh yeah, you're using two pointers. Okay, so all you have to do is just um, point the slow pointer to equal to the head, and the fast pointer is going to equal to the head. So they both start the same. Um, if the head is null and the next or the head's next is null, then we just return head because that means that the linked list is empty. So what we're going to do is we're just we're just going to go fast. So the fast point is going to go like twice as fast. We have to make sure the next next node is not null, right? So if the fast point is not null and the next pointer is not null, then that means we'll keep going right. Otherwise, like we're going to end up like, if we're going twice as fast and the the two times as fast is like null, then we, we can't continue, right? So yeah, um, all you have to do is just set the slow to equal the next and the fast is going to equal twice as fast. In the end, you're going to get to the middle node um, and just return slow, slow, which is, will be the middle node. So yeah, um, that's all you have to do with the two-point approach. It's not a hard, this, this is not a hard problem, but yeah, that's all you have to do for the two-point approach. One's going to go tw uh, slow and then the other one's going to go twice as fast, but yeah, that's it. And let's go over the next problem. Okay, so let's go over another problem called reorder the list. Um, so basically you're given a linked list and then what we're trying to do is just reorder it so that we have the first node and then the last node and then the second node and then the second to last node then the third node and then the third to last node. Okay. So the example here, we have one, two, three, four. So what we're going to do is we're going to reorder it so that we have the first node one and then we're going to have the last node four. So the last node is going to be four. It will be here. Then we have the second node two, right? The second, second node two here. And then we're going to have the second to last node three. So yeah, that's all we do. We have first, then last, then second to last, uh, then we have second node, and then second to last node, and then we go so on and so forth. Okay, so that's what we have here. All right, um, so you have one, two, three, four, five, and then this example is the same thing. One, then five. So you have one, and then we go last node five, then we have two, then uh, second to last node four, and then three, which would be three. Okay, and yeah. So let's just go over how this, how we would do this. Um, so if you want to use the uh, two pointer, so these guys are using stacks. So let's just use two pointers. So here is how you would do it using a two pointer. Um, so here, uh, this is in Java, but we could essentially do the same thing. 
So what they're going to do is, um, here what they're doing is they're, uh, I don't, okay, actually I don't want to do it this way. Um, there must be like another slow and fast pointer. Let's see. I think this would, this is a better one. Yeah, okay. Okay, so here, um, yeah, so here, I think this is the two pointer approach that you want to, we want to do, okay? So we have, um, if heads no and the holly heads and next is no, we just return, okay? So here, what they're doing is they're gonna find the middle of the link list with the head, and they have that. Then what they're gonna do is they're gonna traverse backwards. Um, um, they're gonna have a reverse link list so this reverse list is just going to essentially reverse the link list starting from the current node. So it's just going to reverse it. So this trav is just going to have like the starting from the middle uh, link list to the end, they're going to reverse it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to keep traversing it through and then we're just going to move the current node to the next node and then we're going to move the next to the current node and rewire everything. Okay, so if we wanted to go over an example, it would be something like, let's see, uh, let's see, let's go paint. So let's say we had like one, two, three, four, right? So we have one, two, three, four. Oh, actually, let's go over one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five. So what they're, they're going to do is they're going to try to find the middle of the node, which is going to be three, right? So they have code that finds the middle. So that's what this does is, right? Finding middle. We just went over that, how to do that uh, just a few minutes ago. So we find the middle node. And then what we're going to do is um, we're going to reverse the whole list from mids next. So from here to the end, we're going to reverse it. So this is going to be go to five point to four point to null, okay? Okay, so it'd be five point to four point to null. Okay, now what we're gonna do is um, mids next is gonna point to null. So this, this next, we're gonna break this and we're gonna set this to null. Okay. And then um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start current point to head. So our current is going to point to head so this is our current is going to point to this head node and um traverse is while traverse is not equal to null so now we're going to traverse from here so traverse from here from five to four after reversing it right so um yeah so temporary is going to equal the currents next so um currents next right now points to head right so temp is going to equal the currents next to so point to two okay and then what we're going to do is um, currents next is going to point to trav. So this current of one is going to point to trav, which is um, five. So this one gets breaking down. It's going to point to five. Okay. Because this is trav. So five, this is trav, right? This is trav. Okay. And then, um, yeah, currents next point to trav. Trav is going to go next. So then trav is going to go to the next pointer. So this trav is going to go to the next pointer. So it goes here. Okay, and then um, currents next, next is going to equal the temp. So currents next, so temp is this, right? Currents next, uh, so this is, so current is this, right? This is, this is current, this is current. So now currents next, which is five, this five's next is going to point to, um, point to temp. So temp was equal to two, right? So this is temp. So now current's next, a five, five's next. So we're going to break this down. Five's next is going to point to two. Okay. And then um, current is equal to temp. So current, now we're going to move the current down to be equal to temp. So this is going to be, it's going to equal to temp. So this is, that's current's going to be here now. And then, um, yeah. So then Trav, uh, Trav is not equal to null yet. Temp is going to equal the currents next. So currents next will be three. 
So temp is going to equal to 3. So this is going to be temp. Temp points are 3. Then, um, yeah, temp points to 3. Currents next is going to equal to trap. So this currents next, we break this and we're going to set equal to trap. So trap is going to be 4. Right? Um, and then Trav's next is going to equal to Trav's next. So then Trav is going to go to equal to null, right? And then Currents next, next is going to equal to temp. So Currents, this is Currents next of four. This four is next. It's going to point to temp, which is three. So this is going to be pointing to three. So this breaks and this is going to point to three. Okay. And then, um, Current is going to equal to temp, so current is going to be equal to 3. So this current moves down, go to 3. And then, yeah, traverse is going to equal to null. So in the end, we're going to have 1 pointing to 5, 5 pointing to 2, uh, 2 pointing to 4, and 4 pointing to 3. So 1 pointing to 5, 5 pointing to 4. No, wait, no. 5 pointing to 2. 5 pointing to 2. 1 pointing to 5, 5 pointing to 2, 2 pointing to 4, so 2 points to 4, and then 4 pointing to 3. Okay, so then in the end, we actually have like all these nodes. And they're actually, yeah, they'll be all linked list. So yeah, we basically just reordered it using two pointers um, by one going to like the next, next. So yeah, uh, this is kind of. I'm not sure if it's really going slow and fast, but I think that's the one that I only could see. Um, yeah, I don't see any other. Other one is to do like recursion. Yeah, okay, so this is like the exact same thing what we were doing. Um, slow and fast, okay, yeah. Use for you to keep track, done less front, okay. So yeah, there, there's basically the same thing what we were doing. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's the gist of reordering list. And let's go over the next problem. And then I think we'll, it's our last problem that will be done. All right, guys, we're going to go over one last problem and then we'll be on our way. Circular array loop. We're given a uh, game that involves a circular array of nums. Each nums of i denotes the number of indices forward and backward you must move if you are located at index i. So if nums i is positive, we move nums i steps forward. And if nums i's is negative, remove nums i's step backwards. Um, the array is circular so that if you move forward from the last one, you go, it goes back to the beginning. And if you move backward from the first node, it goes back to the last element. A cycle of the array consists of a sequence of indices of length k, where the following movement rules above results in a repeated sequence. So we have sequence of 0, sequence of 1, up to sequence of k minus 1, up to sequence of 0. If every nums of sequence of j is either all positive or all negative, and k is greater than 1. Return true if there's a cycle, otherwise return false. So here we have 2, negative 1, 1, 2, 2. And this is true because we start at index 0, move 2 to the right. Um, we get 1. Uh, yeah, and then we move 1 to the right, we get Wait, so there's a cycle from index 0 to 0 to 2, then to 3, and then 3 goes back to 1, 2, 2, yeah, index 0, so on and so forth, right? So if I start at 2 and I move 2 to the right, I get 1. I move 1 to the right, I get 2. If I move 2 to the right, I get 2 again, and I go back to the index of 0. So there is a there is a sequence where it goes back to the starting node, okay? And then, the, then every nums of this is all positive or all negative, and the length is greater than one is three. Okay, and yeah, so we just have to make sure all these conditions are met where we get into a cycle. We go back to the original number, and all the values are either all positive or negative for each number that we go to, and uh, the length is greater than one. Okay, so that's essentially the gist of the problem. So let's just go over the solution on how to do this. Um, yeah. Um, slow and fast pointer. Okay. 
So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to use, uh, we're going to loop from beginning to the end. Okay. And slow is going to start at the index of i and fast is going to start at index i. Okay. So here, um, what they do is they have a next function that just gets the current index and uh, it just it, uh, adds the current number and mods it by the length. So it goes back to the um, front if it does, or it goes back to the back if it does. Okay. So that's what all this stuff does. So if, uh, current index plus the current nums index is less than zero. We're just going to go loop backwards and then we'll stop. Otherwise we're going to do, um, yeah, if the offset less than zero, we subtract by offset. Otherwise we go back to the front. Okay. And otherwise, if it's greater than zero, then uh, we just return the current index plus the nums at the current index. Okay. So yeah. So this is how it works. Um, we go st slow is going to equal to the I and fast is going to equal to I. So if slow is equal to the next number that we hop to, right? Um, that means that we just do nothing. We continue back to the top. Okay. Otherwise, if slow is not equal to the fast, um, we're just going to move slow to the next hop and fast is going to go twice as fast. Okay. Fast is going to go twice as fast. Okay. And after this slow should equal the fast, um, then here they set slow back equal to the original index. And then we're going to do the same thing. Um, slow is going to go to, to the next number and then fast is going to go to the next number. And here, what they're going to do is they're going to have a previous and a fast. Yeah. And this is just going to count how many times, um, they're doing this so that we make sure that, um, essentially what we, we make sure that, uh, the size is greater than one, right? All the numbers are greater than the size of our sequence that is repeating. That's a cycle is greater than one. So yeah. So that's what that's what do they do here. Okay. So is this an equal to zero? Flag is equal to true, break. Otherwise, pre is equal to fast pointer, count plus plus. This is just gonna count how many times um the size of it is. Okay. If the size is greater than one, we return true. Otherwise, um, in the end we return false. So yeah, basically we're just gonna move twice as fast. And if we get to the the same one, um, we just make sure that all the counts is greater than one and then make sure we go back to the original pointer. Um, there might be a better code that does the same, the same thing. Um, let's see. Oh, this is a better one. It's way better. Um, no, no, I want to like an actual, like, slow and fast pointer. Uh, let's see if there's a slow and fast pointer. Yeah, yeah, this would be a better one. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's basically the same thing what we did before. They just have a, more conditionals here. Slow goes twice as fast and fast goes faster. And then if we reach to the same, we break return false if the count is too much. But yeah. All right. So that's basically the gist of these problems. I hope I explained it decently. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. And yeah, that's the it. That's it for now. Yeah. Peace.